All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving another question from the fundamentals of electric circuits uh, in this channel. And this is going to be very similar to what we solved in the previous question. And we have the charge flowing in a wire that is plotted on the figure on the right, right hand side. And we need to sketch the corresponding current. So as we talked about in the previous question, we need to memorize the, the formula for the current, which is the dqt over dt or derivative of the charge with respect to time and if we look at this graph on the right hand side we have the charge over time which means the slope of this graph is going to give us the the current that we are looking for and the unit is going to be coulomb per second or the amp so what we need to do in here is that we're going to divide this figure into uh, different regions wherever we see a change in the slope that's going to be one region for us so in here if we look at this like here we're going to have same slope and after two seconds up to six seconds we're going to have another region which is this region same slope again and after that we're going to have this little region in here again with the same slope. So that shows we have three different regions and thereby three different currents. So we just have to figure out the slope in these three regions. And that's going to be the final answer for us. So I'm just going to show our graph in here. So we're going to have and we're going to have time in seconds. So as I mentioned, we're going to have three regions. 0 to 2, 2 to 6, and 6 to 8. All right, let's just figure out each of them. Let's start with the first region. So basically, this slope would be the tangent of these right triangles that I have. So if we look at this one, the alpha, uh, the tangent of alpha would be the opposite over adjacent. The opposite is 50. The side, the adjacent is Two, so we're going to have 50 divided by 2, which is 25. And the slope is positive, so the current is positive 2, so 25. Uh, one common mistake in here is that when you're dividing your regions, uh, if you by mistake consider these as two different regions, it's going to mess up your graph. So keep in mind that wherever you see the slope is changing, that's going to be a new region for you guys. So the second one showed in with red. We're going to have the bigger right triangle. So this side is going to be 50 plus 50 or 100. And this side is 6 minus 2, 4. So that's going to be 100 divided by 4. And we can see that the, the slope is negative. So it's going to be minus 100. So this is going to be also 50 divided by 2 or minus 25 amp. Uh, I forgot to show what we had in the previous part. So this is going to be our graph. So in the second region, we're going to go negative 25. So minus 25 and between 2 to 6, we're going to have this. And the last region. It's going to be the slope of uh, this right triangle here. Again, 50 over 2. And we can see we are going up. So the slope is positive 50 divided by 2. Again, this is going to be positive 25 amp. And it's going to be same level. So this is going to complete the graph. We can just connect these two. And yeah, that's going to be the final answer for this question. I hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.